Here are the best iMovie export settings for YouTube. When you're ready to export, go up to the top right of the iMovie interface and select the Share button. From the menu, select Export File. In the Export File menu, select Video and Audio. Resolution, the maximum of your project, determined by the first clip placed on your project timeline. Set Quality to High. Compress, Better Quality, because who doesn't want better quality? Then hit Next. But before you do that, how do you know these are the best export settings for YouTube? I mean, these may be iMovie's best export settings, but they may actually be substandard for YouTube. After all, iMovie isn't technically a professional editing application. Whatever, Mike, it looks good enough to me playing on YouTube. And that's cool if you're happy with what you're seeing and hearing. But to really know if the file you're exporting out of iMovie is truly good enough for a given platform, and this goes for any editing application, you need to go by the numbers. And if you understand the numbers, you can make a way more informed and effective decision when it comes to choosing your export settings to ensure that you're putting out the best quality video for your chosen platform. Now, the platform we're talking about is YouTube, and YouTube tells you straight up what the best quality settings are for the platform. It gives you the numbers in its recommended upload encoding settings. I'll leave a link to this document in the description. Now, this looks like a lot of numbers and a lot of jargon, and if you are math averse, you're probably getting ready to click off of this video. But before you do that, let me just tell you that when it comes to the image quality of your video exports out of iMovie on your Mac, there's really only one set of information here that we care about, and it's this table here recommended video bit rates for SDR uploads. SDR stands for Standard Dynamic Range, and it's the only type of dynamic range that you can export out of iMovie, so don't worry about that. But what exactly is bit rate? Bit rate is the amount of data used to encode a single second of video or audio measured in megabits per second. Basically, the higher the bit rate, the more data used, the better the video quality to a certain point but also the larger the file size because it's more data. So if we look at YouTube's recommended video bitrate table, you have type here in this column, which is basically the resolution of your video. And then we have these two columns over here that have video bit rates in megabits per second. Now these two columns are divided by frame rate. So the first column here is 24, 25, and 30 frames per second. And the second column is high frame rates, up to 60 frames per second. Why two different columns? Well, more frames per second mean more data and more megabits per second. Fascinating, Mike, but what does all of this talk about bit rates have to do with iMovie's export settings? Well, that's exactly what these export quality settings, low, medium, high, and custom, do. They set the bit rate of the video you export out of iMovie. So the question becomes, what bit rates do these quality settings actually produce? And how do those bit rates compare with YouTube's recommended bit rate settings? Let's find out. All right, let's start with a typical YouTube upload, 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now, YouTube's recommended bit rate for this type of video is 8 megabits per second. All right, over here in iMovie, I have a 1080p 30 frames per second project. Now, a reminder, the resolution and frame rate of your iMovie project and consequently the export resolution and frame rate are set by the first clip you drop on the timeline. I'm going to export this 1080p 30 frames per second project using best quality settings by going up to the top right of iMovie's interface and selecting the share button. And from the menu, I'll select export file. And in the export file settings, I'll set the resolution to 1080p, the highest resolution I could export this project at. I'll set quality to high. Now you may be thinking, for best quality, I should choose best ProRes. Best ProRes is not a good choice for YouTube uploads. It produces files that are massive because they're hardly compressed. Best ProRes files take up a lot of drive space and they can take hours to upload depending on the length of your video and the speed of your internet connection. And ProRes files are in a format that YouTube doesn't like very much, .mov. Best ProRes is best if you wanna do further editing or processing on your exported video. It's what we call in video production an intermediate format. So having said all that, 
I'll set quality to high. Then I've got this compress setting. So basically this compress setting determines how meticulous iMovie is gonna be about encoding your file for export. Better quality is gonna go through the encoding process more thoroughly, looking to optimize quality with file size as much as possible, which takes longer than the faster setting, which is slightly less optimized, but still looks excellent. I'll select better quality. I'll hit next and save out the exported file. All right, so I have the file exported out of iMovie. Now remember, YouTube's recommended bitrate for this type of upload, 1080p at 30 frames per second is eight megabits per second. So how exactly do I check the bitrate of this file I exported out of iMovie to see how it compares with the YouTube recommendations? Using a free application that comes with every Mac, QuickTime Player. I'll right click or control click on the file exported out of iMovie. And from the menu, hover over Open With, then select QuickTime Player. The exported file opens up in QuickTime Player. Now the QuickTime Player window is scaled up to fit on my 4K monitor. So I'm gonna hit Command Left Bracket a couple of times to scale down the window to the actual resolution of the video, which is 1920 by 1080, 1080p. All right, so to check the bit rate of this video, I'll go up to QuickTime Player's top menu and select Window, Show Movie Inspector. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Command I. And we get this inspector panel with all kinds of information about this video, including its bitrate, which in the QuickTime Player Movie Inspector is under Data Rate, which for our exported video is just over 19 megabits per second. That's more than double YouTube's recommended video bit rate of eight megabits per second. It even exceeds the recommended video bit rate for a 1080p video at 60 frames per second. So it looks like iMovie's best export settings for a 1080p video at 30 frames per second are good enough for YouTube and then some. But what about a 4K video? Here's an iMovie project that's 4K at 30 frames per second. I'll export. Set the resolution to maximum 4K, quality high, compress better quality, hit next and save out the exported file. All right, here's the 4K file I just exported out of iMovie, opened up in QuickTime Player. I'll use the keyboard shortcut Command I to open up the movie inspector. Let's see the bitrate. Just over 48 megabits per second. That exceeds YouTube's recommended bitrate for this type of upload, which is 45 megabits per second. So iMovie's best export settings for a 4K upload at 30 frames per second are also good enough for YouTube. Now you may be asking if iMovie's best quality export settings are good enough for YouTube and then some, why do we need any of these other export settings like low, medium, or custom? Well, it comes down to file size. YouTube does have a file size limit. It's 256 gigabytes or 12 hours of video, whichever is less. So in practical terms, YouTube doesn't really have a file size limit, but other platforms do have file size limits and resolution limits. So if you want to upload to those platforms, depending on the length of your video, you're gonna wanna be playing with those other quality settings like low, medium, or even the custom quality slider to dial in a bit rate that will be the best balance between file size and the image quality of your video. And if you want even more control over your iMovie exports, you're gonna wanna have a look at this video on my channel.